Okay, we are going to run BD Edit and create a new block diagram model. So here we have the main BD Edit window, and there's a warning here because it's beta software, and it occasionally crashes, so you need to be careful and frequently save your work. We're going to add some blocks to the model, so I'm going to put uh, a scope block over here. I am going to drop a summation block and I am going to drop a gain block. Just rearrange them a little bit. I am going to add a source block. I am going to drop a step function onto the diagram. And finally, I am going to add a linear time invariant SISO system to the model. So I'm going to drop that there. Now the, the scope block has got two inputs so I'm going to change the parameters of that block and now we have a scope with two inputs. I'm going to do some wiring. I'm going to connect the scope block to the summation block. I'm going to the summation block to the gain, gain to the dynamics and that into the first channel of the scope block and I am going to connect the second input of the scope block to the step block. So that's what actually goes into the system. I'm going to put it up there so it's a little bit easier to see. There are still some limitations in the way we do wire layout in BD Sim. And I need to close the loop, so I'm going to draw a wire from the output of that to the other input of the summation block. I'm just going to move that wire down there pretty it up a little bit I can move that one across. Now I'm going to set some parameters here so look at the parameters for the step block the step happens at time t equals 1 initial value is 0 final value is 1 that's pretty good the summation block uh, has got one positive input and one uh, subtracting input so I'm going to update that parameter the gain block I'm going to give it a gain of 10 and update that parameter and then for the uh, dynamics, I'm going to make the numerator equal to 0 0.5. And I'm going to make the denominator uh, first order, so it's 2s plus 1. And there are the parameters for that particular block. So that's the complete model. All the parameters have been set. So if I push this button up here, then what BD Sim is going to do is to uh, write some code. It's going to write that out. I'm going to call that just test. I was going to write a file called test.bd. Uh, it's an adjacent file that contains the, the model. Uh, and then it is going to write some code and it's going to run it. And here we see the dynamics of our system being simulated in this scope block up here. And that's all there is to it.